All right, it is my second to last day in Ghana, and I think today I'm gonna go to check out the local beach. Um, there's also some landmarks that I'd like to see, so um, we'll see how much time that all takes and how much I get to see. When I come to Ghana, I can give you some recommendations. Many places. Do you just see the number of slaves being moved through? It was a systematic move. It was not a one person's movement. Like if there was good communication and good phones, good internet by then, like they would sell everybody in the country. This was the church. And this was the dungeon. Not the dungeon that they kept them for last. This is the selectable dungeon. This is where they come with the slaves from the villages of Obwasi. Takrade, Kumasi, anywhere of the country to bring them. And they brought energetic, selective people, not anybody like that. This is the only hard work they can do. Do your selection, go to the engine room to confirm the names and the height, check the height from the height room, put them in the dungeon, where it's closer to the sea, where it's closer to the gate of the moon. This was where they brought our ancestors as slaves. This was the strategic movement they were doing before we came blast in Iru. So where they are standing here, when the empire travel with the vessel of the steam, they will come and stand outside there. The 200 people or the 500 bags they brought from the Ashanti region, he can buy all. He selected the second 300, for example. They were hung up in the hand, the ribs and the leg because they won a battle there. They were more stronger, strongest. Who, which people were more taller than this age? We are biased to buy slavery. My brother here and my brother here. Are you going to buy them in one price? No. Are you going to buy them in one price? No. Why? Well, this one is taller, one and this one. This is how they did the strategy of the slavery. And this is where they were fetching their money. They didn't go to the villages to fight for slaves. When the 300 men are here, they are standing outside there. He know Brian is nine feet. He paid for nine feet by day. Brian Fifi is 8.5 feet. He paid for that price in the French money, in the Portuguese money. In the British Empire's money, I did. So when someone is taller than this age, then automatically you are qualified to go. Yeah. Those are the people they want as slaves when they come to Ghana, African person. The only protection they are going to give the slaves is they are going to hide them beneath the castle there, where it's closer to the gate of no return, where it's closer to the sea, so that at midnight, stealing can be very good for them. You are slaves and a slave and you are descending this thing, then that means now we are to the final step. Oh, today we are not slaves. Amen. Today the buyers in the camp. So let's proceed. <laughs> When this gate is open, that means the gold is going out by the slaves. That is the sea right there. And the importance of this gate, with the dungeon over there, is more important to the white countries who are living in the trading with the slaves. This height, those to the line should know, this height is the height of the big vessel that is stealing the men from Africa. Ghana was just one of the branches they saw. So when you are here in Ghana as a slave, you don't have the chance or audacity to stand again as a human being. You only sit down. It is because when they are traveling back with you to back Greece, back to Great Britain, you can't stand to the ship today unless you sit down. See, some countries were hijacking them. So now they hide the slave beneath the vessel. And this is the height of it. So 
the water, the whole purpose of the water was just to dampen the sound. Water is one of the soundproof. And watch it very well, or read it very well. Water soundproof sound. You see a heavy, heavy amount of the sea wind. Yeah. So at midnight, it burns. So with this, it will dance the volume of the sea wind. After which, the business is being going on well. This is where they take your fresh water or a little champagne. Mm. So this was where, after the presidency of the nation, was, they were having their parties for the ceremonial part. It's crazy to think that here people were celebrating sending human lives over to other countries. I wonder if they knew what those people had in store for them once they left. Freedom, justice. Huh. So I'm here at the Artist Alliance Gallery. Obviously can't film inside, but they have a ton of, ton of amazing Ghanaian artwork, but also historical artifacts for sale. I'm not sure how I feel about that part, but entry is free because everything's for sale and uh, like the artwork is absolutely amazing um, and I'm close to Labadee Beach which is interesting because there's like a big um, slum across the street there's kind of different vibes just across single streets in this country it's wild I got some spicy gold pepper soup. It looks so good. My name is Billy. Rex Billy. Okay. That's my name. How about you? Jade. Jane. Nice name. Jane. Jade. Jane. Yeah. Nice name. My dad is from South Africa, but my mom, she's from Nigeria. I'm not a Ghanaian. Okay. I'm not from Ghana. So you're on vacation? Yeah, I'm on I'm a tourist. Yeah. Okay. I came here to work. Oh nice. Yeah, I work here. Oh nice. Yeah. I'm a waiter then. Okay, cool. So you came to explore? You came to relax? Yeah. That was nice. It's part of. I am still there. This is my new friend. All right, I have made it back in for the night. I've taken a shower, so I've gotten all the sand off me, and there's a plane. So loud when they go over here. So I've gotten all the sand off me. I'm gonna call it a night. My uh, hotel gave me this lovely little complimentary snack with some drinking yogurt and some yam chips, which are really popular here. So I'm excited to have this and relax a little bit and uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Hi, I hope you enjoyed watching my day. I put out new videos every Friday, so please subscribe to my travel blog and come with me as I plan to visit every country in the world.